Good morning. Sorry to be a few minutes late. The time just goes by so quick on Sunday mornings. It's wild. I hope everyone's having a good Sunday so far and has been able to like maybe sleep in, maybe relax, enjoy their coffee wherever you are. I know you're always tuning in from so many different places, so I'm sure it's not the morning where everyone is. So I appreciate you guys all popping on here. Hi, everyone. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Victoria. Victoria, I'm going to the UK in January. I'm really excited. I haven't been back or haven't been to the UK since like 2018, something like that. It's been a long time. Hi, Barney. How are you? Hi, Elizabeth. Morning, everyone. Okay, you guys, I'm going to jump in because I have so much new stuff. I'm so excited to share. Like I have so, so much new stuff. Um, I did a poll on my uh, community page asking you all what you'd want to see. Is it going to be Melt Cosmetics with the collaboration with Bailey Sarian, my girl, um, or is it going to be LC Cosmetics? It's a smaller indie brand that I am a huge, huge fan of, have been a fan for a long time. Let me just get a little more comfortable. Um, what else did I put on that poll? Help me. Oh, Give. That was the other one because Give, if you don't know who Give is, Give is Gwen Stefani's makeup brand. They sent me the cutest PR package ever. It's a stocking that's a boot. How cute is this? Right? Adorable. So they sent me this PR package. This stocking was filled, not even kidding you. It was filled to the top with so much fun stuff. In fact, let me grab it. So I have like a kind of an awkward setup because I'm trying to have my camera closer to me so you can really see more detail, like my skin up close. Um, but my table is behind it. So I have to like grab things from behind the camera. Anyway, I got loaded up with a ton of give products. Really excited. Um, oop. tons of new things I've never tried. I've only tried a few things from give beauty. So this video is going to be a big melting pot of just tons and tons of new products. For example, look at this beautiful, gosh, I might use this today. I might I might have to use this. How pretty is this? It's a me, you, yours, glimmer, eye sparkle. Hi everyone, Tristan's on. So this is the like component. It's like a loose glitter. I love loose glimmers or loose shimmers. Oh my God, Celine has my brushes and she loves them. Thank you so much, Celine. I appreciate you so, so much. I appreciate all you guys so much and Thanks for the feedback on the brushes. It's been really great. Michelle, my top is from Zara and I got the matching skirt. However, this is so much more cropped than I was anticipating. It like, sorry TMI, but barely is covering my boobs right now. I'd get up and show you, but it's just too hard. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna get into this because I have a lot to do in terms of makeup. I have a lot to get on my face. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna grab this was my bag of drugstore concealers. I just, I have no more like containers for my makeup. So I need to go pick up some more containers. But for now, I'm just keeping all these concealers that I got in this makeup bag. Um, you and me, me says your brushes are next level. Thank you so much. My gosh, that is like the most incredible thing to hear. I really appreciate that feedback. I'm gonna get right into it. I'm gonna prep my eyes with, this is actually the first concealer that I used and tried for my huge concealer, drugstore concealer haul that I posted on my channel yesterday. This is the one from Wet n Wild and I actually really liked it. So I'm gonna use this first to do a very old school technique. Um, it's a very old school Instagram makeup-esque technique of just kind of cleaning up under your brows. I have a lot of discoloration on my eyelids, so I just love to put concealer as my eye base um, on my eyes. Now I'm gonna grab my N16 brush, which is a little dirty because I used it yesterday, but we're gonna make it work. I'm just gonna clean out and blend out, I should say, that concealer. Oh my God, thank you so much, Catherine. Yeah, I, I was hoping that video, Catherine's talking about the unexpected ways to use my brushes video that Lisa J and I um, collaborate on, it's on her channel. It's a really good video and it's just really 
helpful, I think, if you purchase the brushes and you're looking for just a, a overall guide on how to use the brushes and different unique ways to use my brush set. It's a really good video and I, I highly recommend you check it out if you have my brushes and you know, maybe if you are, like I said, looking for more guidance on how to use them in different ways, I would check it out. Oh my God, thank you. You guys, you, you don't even know, your feedback means the absolute world to me. And I have to be honest with you, Excuse me, I always have allergies in my studio. There's something about, I don't know, the dust in here that always gets me like allergies. Um, but I have to be honest with you guys, just a little quick story time. Hi, Marilyn. I, when the brushes first launched, you know, I was so excited, um, like beyond excited, but also I was just very anxious to be quite honest. Like I just had, you know, when you get that kind of pit in your stomach of like, ugh, like, it's an exciting time, but it's also a very like nerve wracking thing to put something out there to sell to people that, um, you know, you worked hard on and you, you feel so like tied to. And, um, so, uh, God, what are the, I'm searching for words. Basically it was just like, it was, it was kind of like these brushes are my baby and I worked so hard on them with the whole BK beauty team. And I just, I, um, the thought of like getting any bad feedback or just like some people not like getting them or like not loving them. It just put a pit in my stomach, to be honest. Like it just really put a, like a sick to my stomach sinking feeling. And um, I, mean, I got over it and I'm, I'm good now, but it was just really nerve wracking to launch something into the world that you, that means so much to you and that you've worked so hard on. And just to know that like feedback is gonna come in and you know, overthinking, yes, exactly. <laughs> Nailed it. Overthinking. I'm a Capricorn. That's all I do is overthink. I am born to overthink. So anyway, long story short, the feedback that I get from you guys, good, bad, all of it is appreciated. I love to know it. I want to hear it. And I just really appreciate it all in general. So I'm going to move on. My girl, um, Glam by Pam. I don't know if you follow her on Instagram. She does makeup for dozens of housewives and dozens of people that are on Bravo she is, I'll, I'll make sure I'll put her um, Instagram handle in the description of this live when it goes live, but she has created a primer. It's the brand Louisant 6. I might be saying that wrong. I'll, I'll link it in here so you guys can check it out. But I'm gonna use this primer for the first time. It has hydrating CBD and it has shine and oil control and it's organic. So, oh, you know who I'm talking about, Noelle. Pam is my girl. Pam is the type of person that when she sees you, she will jump on you and give you the biggest hug you'll ever have in your entire life. She'll give you like the best hug. She's so genuine. She's so talented. I've, I've had the chance of uh, working alongside of her a couple of times. Um, we have a mutual client in LA where she actually does her hair and I do her makeup and she's just a powerhouse. I love that girl. So gotta support her. This primer feels nice, jeez. Feels very, um, very silky. Good evening from Poland, wow. Thank you for joining us. Hmm. April, we will find out. It's marketed as um, oil control, but it feels like a very nice hydrating serum base. We'll find out, because I'll wear it all day. My dogs are, are playing, hold on. Voice, 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 voice. Okay, sorry, they're very excited because I'm home. <laughs> anyway, I'll link everything I'm going to use in this live in the description box, so don't worry. Okay, let's get to the fun stuff. I'm going to just go right in with my foundation. It doesn't feel silicone-y, Stephanie. It feels like lightweight serum-y. I'm going to just put my Dior Backstage Face and Body. I wear the shade 2.5W. Do you hear my dogs? Oh my God. <laughs> They're out of control, you guys. And I'm gonna dip my N17. They'll stop, they'll stop, I promise. My husband's gone right now, so I'm like, I'm alone with the dogs. <laughs> I have no help. My birthday is January 1st, it's coming up. Oh. Good morning, Bella. Oh, actually, I think Mitch is home now. Okay. Puppies are spicy and happy. They are very spicy, let me tell you. Oh, thanks, April. 
Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. You know, I imagine it's going to get even harder when I have a kid eventually. I'll be, like, doing a live and my kid will be come out and, like, just scream at me or something. I don't know. It'll be funny. Wait, you're December 28th? My sister's December 28th. That's so crazy. Oh, my God. Happy almost birthday. I'll be thinking of you and my sister's birthday comes around, too. Oh, my God. Suzanne says... January 1st is my sister's birthday too. How funny. December 27th. I have so many Capricorns on here. I love it. Nearly got to me is December 20 or 31st. New Year's Eve right before me. So you celebrate right before I celebrate. How cute. I love your sleek hair. Please could you share some products you use? You know what? Absolutely. And I've been getting asked this a lot. I just don't feel like my hair is in that great a shape to talk about hair products, to be quite honest. So that's why I don't really talk about that much. Amy, your brother is January 1st? What are the odds? Katie, I already did my sunscreen because I had to let it soak in. So I've been doing my sunscreen before, way before my lives. Um, but my sunscreen, I can show you it. It's the one I've been using for the last like three weeks, four weeks from Haru Haru Wonder. This one's fantastic. Okay, just getting this foundation on. Oh, November 25th, yours just passed. My mom's was the 27th, so you guys are like right next to each other. Oh, look, mascara on my face. <laughs> you know, lots of funny noises over here with these dogs. <laughs> oh my God. They're so funny. I wish you guys could see them. They're hilarious. Lots of Capricorns. I love to see it. Okay, so I'm just getting this foundation on quick and easy. I, you can see that I use predominantly the lighter fiber side. I do have to wash this brush. Please don't call me out. I am, I am well aware that my brush is very dirty. Melissa, there's so many good ones for brides. It just depends on like the bride's skin type, what they're looking to achieve. But to be quite honest, my favorite is the Dior Backstage Face and Body. It's waterproof. It's extremely long wearing, but it's extremely skin-like. So I've always kept this in my kit for longevity. It's fantastic. But when I used to do brides like on a regular basis, which was almost 10 years ago at this point, um, maybe, yeah, it was almost 10 years ago when I, when I used to be, a, uh, like heavily in the bridal makeup game, I loved the makeup forever HD foundation. That was my, my go-to. Ooh, we got another Capricorn. Is it true? No sunscreen for bridal makeup. <laughs> You know, that was more of a thing back in the day when there was just different formulations with sunscreens and they were just, um, they just weren't as up to date as they are now. Now, I don't think it's as uh, scary of a thing to incorporate sunscreens for brides. I would just go for a lower SPF just in case that higher SPF. And also I would stay away from mineral. I would stay away from mineral sunscreen on a bridal, on a wedding day. Just my opinion. I'm gonna go straight into concealer and conceal these dark circles. The reason why I say no mineral sunscreen is mineral sunscreen or, you know, like a zinc oxide sunscreen, those tend to have that ghostly white flashback when the camera hits you. So that's why I say just stay away from them and use a chemical one. I know some people hate chemical sunscreens to each their own. Totally get it. But I would do a chemical sunscreen personally. <laughs> All right, we are getting into this tutorial. And I'm trying to just kind of get through the more basic stuff, like my complexion, because I want to have fun with the eyes. And I think I'm really going to go with the Give Loose Glitter. Either that, either that, or, I mean, I am going to be out and about during the day today, so I don't know if I'm going to do something wild like this, but how, these are so fantastic from Melt. Did you guys get a chance to hop on my live yesterday by any chance? I went live on my TikTok. I know a lot of people don't go on TikTok or some of you guys do, but um, let me know if you caught my live yesterday because I used all of Melt Cosmetics collaboration with Bailey Sarian on that video. I'm just gonna scroll back to this question really quick from Michelle. Michelle, you used both N16 and N14 in your concealer video. Was there a reason why you picked each one thickness of concealer? Yes, absolutely. Um, so you can see right now I'm just using my N14 to just blend in that product really quick. This acts like a little mini beauty blender where it just kind of gets in there, it taps the product into your skin really quick and really easily without having to 
take a lot of time. Um, it also is great for keeping like um, the coverage. So it's gonna pack it in if you use like a tapping motion, but it's also gonna blend it out really quick. Whereas my N16 is a lot more, it's smaller. So the smaller the brush, the more precise it's gonna be and the more time it's gonna take to kind of blend out certain areas of the eye, right? So like this is great for getting in there and blending out fine lines and blending out the edges and really getting a flawless application. Basically what I'm trying to say is they're both great. They're both great. They're both gonna be um, great tools to use. I also use this one, of course, to set my under eyes with powder. It's gonna kind of come down to personal preference as well. So they're both just fantastic, in my opinion, for blending out concealer. And I switched between because I had 30 different concealers to try on that video, and I wanted to just kind of alternate between the two brushes to show you how easy both can be to blend out concealer formulas. So I hope that helps. Um, is Saturday TikTok going to be a regular thing? Depends. I mean, I, I love it. I usually film my YouTube tutorials on Saturdays, so I don't know. We'll just kind of have to play with it and decide, you know, it's kind of like a, if I can do it on a Saturday, I definitely will. Or if I can do it on a Friday, I definitely will. I'm trying to just do at least one TikTok live a week. So hopefully that answers your question. Okay. Let's go ahead and just set my under eyes while we're here. I'm going to grab a slightly cleaner N14 and my Huda Beauty cupcake powder. Because like I said, I want to get into the fun stuff. Will my brushes be sold separately? I have great news. They will. Um, sometime early next year, I got word from the owners who are like my friends now, which I'm so happy to say like they're like good friends of mine now. We're on a group text and I love getting their texts. Like they're just like the nicest people you'll ever meet in life. It's incredible. But they did tell me that they are going to be sold individually starting early next year. So guys, I'm excited. Wait, okay, so hold on. Let's see this question really quick. There's a story you uploaded with Bear. You were mumbling a song. I swear you should have saved it because it made my day. Oh my God, <laughs> thank you. I was. I think I know what you're talking about. I was singing to him. And yeah, that was funny. I'm glad you enjoyed that. You're so sweet. Okay, I have your brushes on the way. I can't wait. <gasps> Luna Rose, I can't wait. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for you to get my brushes. All right. Makeup is pretty much set. Let's get into the fun stuff, okay? I have to show you something that I splurged and bought myself. Are you ready for it? Now, full disclosure, I am not on Hourglass's PR list. That's totally fine. I am grateful and fortunate enough to be on so many other PR li uh, lists from brands, and I receive so much free stuff. You know, it's part of my job, obviously. It's um, as a content creator now on YouTube, it's part of my job to bring you reviews on new things and... Um, but I also end up buying a lot of stuff too, which is what I was trying to say. So I ended up purchasing one of these palettes. My friend Tiffany, who is the beauty stylist on Instagram and on TikTok, if you don't follow her, I'll link her too. If I, if I forget, just call me out, but you would love her content. She's like, first of all, she's stunning. She's a mom of two. She's just a awesome, inspirational person. I love her to death. So anyway, Tiffany was doing all kinds of videos with this palette and like all the hourglass palettes. And she just, she literally, she influenced me to buy them. They're so expensive. They're $90. I did get mine at a discount because I'm a professional makeup artist. I get a discount on hourglass if I buy them, if I buy hourglass through this company called Nigel Beauty Emporium. It's in Los Angeles. So I did get a discount, thankfully. <laughs> But how pretty is this palette? It's the Leopard palette. How beautiful is that? It's great for like, I'd say like light to medium, medium, medium plus, like medium tan skin tones. And then they have a deeper one after this. And I can't remember what animal is on it, but they have a couple different variations in tones, but these palettes are just beautiful. And I can say this because I know my sister is not watching this live right now because she barely goes on YouTube, but I bought my sister one too, like the lighter one because she's much fairer than me and I can't wait to give it to her. She's going to be so excited. All right, let's grab a clean N15. I can't believe I have a clean one in my hands. <laughs> I feel like all my brushes 
are dirty. I haven't washed them since last Sunday when we went live and did like a whole wash cleaning day, which was really fun. And um, anyway, so I'm happy to have like <laughs> some clean brushes. I'm gonna use this to bronze. So I'm gonna dip into this beautiful bronzer tone right here. And we're gonna sweep away. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. My brushes have been a game changer. Wow, that just, again, makes makes my day. Yeah, Catherine, I got her the jellyfish. That was it. Do you have additional, hold on. Do you have additional brushes designed in your journal? Um, oh, what do you mean, like to come? I always have ideas, I can tell you that. They're really pretty. They're very, very pricey, but they're very pretty. Like, look at that glow. Please don't mind my frizz and my grow out hair. What did I miss? Tell us what. I'm trying to catch up. I'm trying to catch up and read and do makeup at the same time. Oh, I cannot wait for you to use them too, Angie. Okay, so I'm going to use this too. Sculpt. My cheek. <laughs> Marcy, the Melt Cosmetics collection with Bailey Sierran is un real i mean like they did a fantastic job like a fantastic job i'm not just saying that because like those are my girls like i love all those girls so much and if you don't know milk cosmetics was created by two girls who are makeup artists um mac makeup artists so they're very near and dear to my heart because it's like that's like my backstory and you know that's my history as a makeup artist was starting at mac so i just love to support them but they have incredible products Melt is awesome. The powder is so bad. It really is, Catherine. And to have the individual ones in my makeup kit, like my pro kit. I'm really happy that I treat myself to this. Aw, oh, thanks. Yeah, I agree. Any MAC artist is great. Curious, you get busier during the holiday season. Um, I do and I don't. So I have had to... I have to be very careful with what jobs I take nowadays because... I also have to allow some time for me to get my YouTube channel filmed and I can't, I can't do everything, believe it or not. So sometimes certain things take a hit, like I have to take a little less clients because I need time. I need to carve out time to film and sit down and edit with Mitch and do the links, do the thumbnails, do all the things, plan out my content. It's a lot of work. So yes, I'm very busy because people ask me, I get tons and tons of requests to do makeup during the holidays, but I end up only taking photo shoots. Here's why. They're, mo they're the most worth my time. I hate to say it. Um, running into LA just to do like one or two clients is not always the most uh, <laughs> effective for my time. Barry is on a whole new level down here. I just have to tell you, he is on a whole different level of being wild, noisy, and crazy. All right, we're gonna flip to the darker fiber side of my brush, okay? And then I'm gonna use, let's go for, I kinda wanna do this one. Let's go for this beautiful soft focus highlighter. Oh yeah, beautiful. I definitely need to put an eyeshadow base on my eyes. You see all that creasing? So pretty. Do you have your own line of brushes now? Yes, I do, Nicole. They came out um, early November. They're with BK Beauty. They're, I'll link them in the, the description of this video. They're linked in almost all my descriptions at this point. Um, this is one of the brushes that's my N17. It's a set of seven brushes. But thank you for asking. How pretty is that? Okay, I'm gonna switch brushes again. Dip into this more shimmery, I'm use my 14, and just do some precision highlighting. And let's add just a little more glow because why not? Ooh, wow. Okay, that was a lot more impactful than I thought. Wow, wow, wow. So I think these palettes make such good gifts, honestly. Mm, that is glowing. Well, by anything you come out with. Oh my God, Bella, you're so sweet. It's like, the, that is the best compliment you could give me. 
Okay, gonna go back to the darker fiber side of my N17 brush. And I think, hmm, I wanna go for, I kinda wanna go for this blush, honestly. This looks so beautiful. Oh yeah, that's pretty. It's like a pink coral. Hmm. Okay, love. So I wanna know, is everyone caught up on their holiday shopping? Do you have a lot of people to shop for? You know, like between all the holidays that are this month, do you have a ton to shop for? Are you like caught up? Are you done? I'm actually like, I'd say like 70% done with my shopping, which I feel really good. Maggie's halfway done. Jenny's all done. Damn, Jenny. It's only December 3rd. You're, <laughs> you're on it. Adrian shopping is done. Now I feel bad. Okay, Stephanie, I feel better. Halfway done. Stephanie's halfway done. Whew, it's not just me. Ah, it's a lot, you guys. It's a lot. Oh my God, Barney's done. Okay. Don't hate me. I just finished shopping. All done. I do hate you. I'm so jealous. <laughs> Good for you. Okay, I'm happy for you. I'm just kidding. I'm really happy for you. I'm going to put this beautiful leopard palette down now for a minute because we need to decide what we're doing on the eyes. But before we do... I need a little oil control on my eyelids. I'm gonna go to my Fenty Beauty eyeshadow primer. Irina hasn't started yet. It's her daughter's birthday on the 12th. Oh my God. Ooh, I feel you on the birthday stuff. Like I have so many birthdays in late November and it just slows down my process of shopping. Cause it's like, I have to like knock out those things before I can like mentally focus on the rest of the holidays, you know? I buy a lot for Christmas. I do have like some birthdays in December too that I have to shop for, but I have a lot of family birthdays in November. So like they kind of take like priority, you know what I mean? But it's one of my best friend's birthdays on, on Monday on the 4th and I've already bought him everything for his birthday. <laughs> and um, yeah, so then I'm, I'm done with him. So I'm happy about that. Okay, so eyeshadow base from Fenty Beauty is on. But what I'm gonna do is just take, when in doubt, take a little more powder. I'm gonna take a touch more of my Huda Beauty cupcake powder and lock it in with my N14. This dome helps to get in there and get all over the eyelid to just set it into place. So if you have oily eyelids, this is a really great trick. Now, let me show you my options for eyeshadow palettes. And I, I really need your help deciding because it's going to help to, you know, it's going to help me narrow it down because I have a lot to choose from. So if you haven't already known, if you don't know about the brand LC, they've been around for at least 10 years. Um, female owned makeup artist started this brand. I love her. I think she's incredibly talented and she's got incredibly great products, like great quality, great formulas. So the brand's LC, and this is one of the palettes that I just got recently, it's like a beautiful mauve palette. Kind of goes with the top too, even though I'm gonna change my top, full disclosure. Um, but this is the mauve palette, it's all matte. Okay, so that's option one. Option two, which might be a popular one, is the Melt, the brand new one with Melt Cosmetics and Bailey Sarian. They're all named after Poison, which is hilarious. Very Bailey Sarian. Hi, Jody. So what do you think? This one is gorgeous too. This is all matte. So we could do that. And then we could top it with the glitter, which I'm really leaning towards. Okay, so I'm getting equal votes right now. And then there's also this kind of random one. It's from ColourPop. It's a Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer palette. But it's really pretty. So let me just show you it just in case you're feeling it. But I'm thinking something different. I'm not, I don't know if I'm feeling this one. I'm getting a lot of votes for LC, you guys. I'm getting a lot of LC. Wow, I'm getting, a, okay. All right, I gotta go with LC. I gotta go with LC because I think I'm getting majority. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of mauve LC. Okay, if, you, if you're voting melt though, I promise you I'm gonna do more looks with the melt because I love it. And I just did a look yesterday on my TikTok, so I only feel like it's fair to switch it up. So we're gonna go for this. Oh, it's gonna be so pretty. And it's gonna go, oh yeah, this is gonna be so pretty. All right, guys, let's do this one. Okay, I need some clean brushes. <sighs> let's see, let's see. Okay, great, solid. I got a clean N13. Hallelujah. 
But I also need a clean flat brush because I'm gonna pack on one shade. So let's see if I can, okay, here's a clean, here's a clean-ish flat brush. It's been totally beat up and stained. Let's go for, hmm, it's hard to decide, but I think, gosh, how do I wanna, what kind of look do I wanna do? Let's see, sorry for the hold up. I'm just, this is so pretty. I wanna like get inspired. Let's go for, hmm, let's do this one all over to start. Let's just go for this all over to start. It is a Sunday. I don't know how wild I want my eyes to be for the rest of the day. Ooh, this is a beautiful rosy or like blush tone mauve. <laughs> Oh, you're so sweet, Laura. I need that palette. It's one I don't have. Oh, yeah. The the minimalist one is like fantastic. Mm, pretty, really, really pretty. Patricia, I've been working on my own makeup products for well, two, three years, two years. Um, to to be continued on that. Okay, that's beautiful. I love a good mauve palette. Wow. Anastasia is asking if I use any drugstore products in my professional makeup kit. The only two products I use from drugstore in my pro kit are the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. I use the black and the carbon, bl carbon black and brown mascara in my kit. Fantastic formula. I also use the waterproof in that formula as well. Great, great formula. <laughs> And I also use the e.l.f. Brow Wow, or Wow Brow, Wow Brow. Amazing tinted brow gels, incredible. I use them in my kit and um, they perform like, very much like the Kosas Air Brow that I love too, but at only $5, so you just can't beat them. And I go through tinted brow gels very often in my makeup kit, so. Tristan knew it, that's so funny. Did you see Wayne Goss's video on his adventures and his makeup line? No, I didn't. I need to watch more Wayne Goss's content. I don't, um, I know I'm subscribed to his channel because he's an OG and I have a lot of respect for him, but I, I don't, um, I need to catch up. I need to catch up. Maybe I'll watch some of his videos today, but I do have some exciting news. So speaking of Wayne Goss, I have some very, very exciting I was so moved by Wayne's video. Oh, oh, okay, okay, I gotta watch it. I gotta watch it. But speaking of Wayne Goss, you know, I filmed a full face of only Wayne Goss cosmetics, gosh, over a month ago at this point. And I just have had to kind of push back the release of that video because I've had other things to release on my YouTube channel. I'm gonna dip into this beautiful raspberry now. With my N13. But that video, I'm very happy to say, is coming out next Saturday, which is gonna be what? Saturday the 9th. So if you have been waiting for that video, I can't wait. I can't wait to upload it. The look that I filmed with his makeup products are, is so pretty. It was one of my favorite makeup looks I've done in a long time. So I cannot wait. Oh, the video is called Why My Makeup Line Failed. That's interesting. Okay, I now I now it really has my interest. Um. Oh, he's revamping this whole line. Okay, well then I gotta get this this video out before he releases new makeup. Good to know. Thank you guys for this insightful, insightful knowledge. I appreciate it. Yeah, so I can't wait to post that video. It's coming out next Saturday. And um, it's just a really beautiful look. And his products, like spoiler alert, his products are fantastic. Okay, so I'm just blending that deeper blush or... Yeah, it's kind of like a blush tone, like a mauvey blush in the outer corner of my eye. What's everyone's plan today? Almost done, thanks. <laughs> Sammy, you're so funny. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was funny. What is everyone's plan today? What do you guys got going on? I'm actually gonna be golf. I'm not gonna golf. I just sit in the cart, but I'm gonna go golfing with Mitch for a couple hours today and I'm really excited to just spend some time with him. I feel like I haven't seen Mitch, even though I live with Mitch, I feel like I haven't seen him in forever. Gabrielle, hi. 
So Maggie's picking her mom, her friend up from the airport. Wow, you are a good friend, Maggie. You're a really nice friend. Decorate my graduation cap. Oh my God, when's your graduation? Congratulations. I'm watching the 49ers. Milan, jealous. Who's in Milan? I'm so happy you're joining too. Doing my makeup for my cousin's engagement party. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Angie's in bed. Chemo's kicked my my rear. I have to be ready for my grandson tomorrow. Oh my God, Angie. Sending you so much healing and positivity and a big, big hug. I feel so, I really feel for you. My heart goes out for you. And I know, I know like how much I can kick your rear. <clears throat> my mom's had cancer twice and I've watched her go through two rounds of chemo because of it, obviously, because she's had, she had cancer. Um, she had cervical, cervical cancer and then she got breast cancer. Um, how many years ago now? She's been in remission for six years or seven years. But yeah, chemo is just unbelievable how it wipes you out. Okay, so just blending out this shadow with a little clean brush. And we're going to keep on, keep on going. Now I do have this beautiful Melt Cosmetics gel liner. It's in the shade Nightshade. It's basically a really deep plum. And I think it's going to be perfect for this eye look. So what we're going to do is grab a clean N12 brush, dip into the gel. And I'm going to use this as my base and then I'll probably blend this dark purple on top. Do I like Cleta makeup? I do. I like a lot of their stuff. I know they're pricey, but they have some really, really nice stuff. I am a huge fan of their lipsticks. Okay, let me just get in here and wipe off some excess. And then just pull this out a bit. Cute. Um, hold on, let me read this question about Wayne Goss. Nikki, are you using the new Wayne Goss brushes in your video? No, because I filmed the video, I filmed it, what, like the second, no, first week of November? I filmed it a month ago. So his, his brushes were not, no, I filmed it at the end of October. When did I film that video? <laughs> It was either the end of October or like the first week of November. Either way, his brushes came out literally right after I filmed that video. So no, I am not using his brushes. I'm not even using my brushes in the video because I filmed that video before mine came, were launched. So I wasn't allowed to use them yet. So you won't see Wayne Goss brushes in that video or mine, sadly. Okay, just doing like a little baby, little baby wing. Uh, wait, okay, I think I'm reading that question again. No, Janice, I'm not using his brushes. But I would love to try them. Like, maybe in a future video. Okay, pretty. Um, dipping into... Oh, you're cleaning your brushes? I need to do that, too. So I just dipped into this dark, dark shade right here now. Same brush. I just kind of wiped off the excess. And I'm gonna just press this on top. Very pigmented. These shadows are extremely pigmented. I'm gonna just kind of bring this on the bottom too and get like a real cat eye going. I'll clean this up in a minute. Okay, I keep getting Janice's question over and over again. I'm not sure if it's like if it's like a typo, but I keep getting the same question over and over. Oh, she's glitching. Okay, yeah, it must be a glitch. Cause I'm like, I swear I answered that question. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have so many Christmas presents I need to wrap. And like, I usually try to like wrap them like a couple 
each week, you know, like a couple, I'll like do like a whole, get a whole pile done at once. But I have a feeling with the way this month is going that I'll probably end up just like having to like wrap for an entire day and get them all done, which is so daunting. I don't know about you guys, but I like shopping for gifts, but my least favorite part, I hate to say it, is wrapping. I really, it's like backbreaking. It's extremely tedious. It's like messy. You got like tape everywhere, ribbon, you got to do this and you got to name tag it. It's like, oh my God, it's so much work. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, let's grab a brush to clean this up. I don't know where. Okay, here's my other brush stash. My husband wraps all of our gifts. You are so lucky. I have to wrap Mitch's gifts too because he does not like, <laughs> he says he's not good at it. So I'm like, okay, great. That means I have to wrap them. Um, I'm just gonna take my Angie Hot Flashy A505. This is one of my favorite brushes from VK Beauty and just clean up this little wing. It's got a little, a little bit of old concealer on it from the other day, which makes for great cleanup. So I'm just gonna use this to sharpen. This wing. You can definitely use cupcake powder to set your whole face for sure. If it's the appropriate color for your skin tone though. So just make sure it's not too light. It shouldn't be too dark. Hmm. Let's break into something fun. Let's break out that glitter. But before I do, let's finish up this bottom lash line. I'm just gonna grab another clean brush. This is another one of my favorites. It's the Angie Hot and Flashy A504. And I'm missing a lot of questions, shoot. I'm gonna dip right back into that same shade we used earlier in the all over the eyelid. And apply this all to the bottom lash line. telling you these formulas if you've not tried the lc cosmetics eyeshadow formulas they're really they're fantastic easy to blend matte formula all right that's really pretty i love this this color palette like this whole color story is really pretty i think it's going really well with my top too Pretty. Hi, Nancy. Oh my God, I didn't even see you pop on. I'm grab another smaller blending brush that's clean. It's a 207. And now I'm gonna dip into this more deeper mauve. Mm -hmm. You just gotta practice those wings. I'm telling you, the more you do it, it just becomes like second nature. And you see too, like I start out really messy and then I clean it up. It's so easy. I promise you just, just, Practice it, you'll get the hang of it. So pretty. I'm gonna dip back into that first shade in my N13. I just want a little bit more depth. Oh, yes, you just stamp it on, exactly. That's exactly why I created the N11, was to stamp on powder eyeshadow and just be quick and done and easy I saw someone's um, retiring. Was it Patricia? Lindy, I have that tutorial coming up so quick, I promise. I'm gonna have Mitch help me edit probably today. Elsie is not available at Ulta, but it'd be awesome if they were someday because they'd be so much easier to access and purchase. I'm gonna just push up my brows really quick with my 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. And then we're gonna do some mascara and some glitter. Patricia, I hope you get to like celebrate and treat yourself to like a great dinner or something out for retiring or maybe even better to go on like a trip or something. That's amazing. 
Okay, brows look better. They weren't looking so good for a second. <laughs> I need some mascara, and you know what? Do I have a new mascara? Let's just check. Oh, I do. I have a new mascara. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Is this... <gasps> yes, I got the Give Mascara. Let's try it out. So many people rave about this mascara, and it's so cute. I love the checkered. Love the font, clearly. It's the same font as my um, my YouTube and just like my, my name. I use like the old English font. So very, very much my style. Okay, wow. So it's got like a little rounded tip to it. It's cool. Wow, I like this brush. And I like this formula. Why have I not tried this? Am I way behind? Have you guys tried this mascara? Wow, good job, give. This mascara is uh, very impressive. Wow. I was not expecting all that length and separation. Wow. Why didn't you guys tell me to buy this? I feel like you have to kind of work quickly with it, but. Wow. I know. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Oh my God. Yeah, it's pretty thickening, but not in a clumpy way. But it really clings to my lashes like quick. You know, some mascaras take a while. You have to kind of like coat it and coat it and it finally like sticks and you see impact. I haven't even dipped back into the tube either. This is just like whatever's on the wand. So I love the tip of this brush um, to just kind of get in those inner lashes right here. They're hard to separate. And for me, like these lashes for me clump so easy. Wow, you guys, I'm very impressed with this mascara. Like, do you see that? Look at the, on the side, look how much length. Wow, okay, so you know what? I have to be very honest. So I saw so many like targeted ads using this mascara on TikTok. Like it was like being pushed so hard. I thought, um, I don't know. It made me like kind of skeptical. Cause you know, like on TikTok when people like go crazy with the like the reactions, they're like, I don't know. It's like always like very salesy and like just too pushy. I felt like that was happening a lot with this mascara. Oh my God. Thank you, Angie. Oh, you're so sweet. I'm so happy you're loving the Naturium products. Oh my God. That's amazing. You got a great, you have a great amount of stuff you picked up. Um, Angie just sent me a super thanks. Thank you so, so much, Angie. But so what I was saying is just like, it seemed too um, over the top, like in your face, like, look at this mascara. It's like the most incredible formula on earth. But wow, it kind of is. <laughs> Very impressed. It's like I have false lashes on. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I am very, very impressed with that. That's really, really pretty. Oh, I should do the bottom lashes too. Let's do some bottom lashes. Hold on. Okay, nice. I'm kind of avoiding that rounded tip on my bottom lash line. Okay. <laughs> All right, the mascara is from Give. It's that, that viral mascara that everyone was talking about. So I have a lot of lip options, I have to warn you. But I'm kind of, gosh, I'm kind of feeling one from Give. Would you guys mind if I kept like if I kept going with the Give products because this looks so pretty and I feel like this is gonna be a really beautiful lipstick to go with my eyes. So the name of this is Tragic Me. Should I do this one? I'm also still gonna use this glitter. So actually, you know, let's do this glitter really quick before I get into the lip. How about that? So the glitter, if I didn't mention it, it's glimmer and it's icy. I see in sparkle. It's a multi-dimensional eye pigment. 
I hope this is not too messy because I already have mascara on. Oops. Hang on, I need my tweezers. It has like this little cover thing. Okay. Oh, that's so messy. So I'm gonna tap some into this cap, okay? And we're gonna try not to, oh, it's kind of hard to get out. Hmm, let me just. And by the way, I promise you, if you missed anything, everything will be listed in the description box once this live goes, goes live. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna start with this amount. And let me just grab a flat brush that's clean. This will do. It's a 209 from BK Beauty. Now I'm gonna wet my brush because I wanna make sure, or should I use my fingers? You know what, guys, let's use, let's see if I can use my fingers, okay? I'm gonna just kind of run this on my hand. Is it too loose? Let's just see. Okay. Pretty. But let's use it wet. It's not quite intense enough. So I'm gonna take the 209. I'm gonna wet it with just any setting spray. This is one from Rare Beauty. Okay. Let's dip into this, make it a little bit more metallic. And let's hope for the best so we don't have a lot of fallout. I'm just gonna push it. Yeah, this is better. Way more impactful. Oh yeah, okay, this is what I'm talking about. Wow. Very, wow. Okay, Brenda likes it. I just sprayed a little bit of the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist setting spray. Any, any setting spray will work. Wow, look at that. That's really, oh, this is such a fun eye look. I love, I like live for this kind of eye look, you guys. Hmm. It does look like Pat McGrath, yeah. So I'm gonna dip even more. I'm gonna wet my brush again. I'm gonna go back over this side because this is the side that I use my finger to apply it and it's just very underwhelming. So lesson learned. Now we know how to get the most impact out of this. This is my hooded eye though. So we kind of have to work a little bit harder on this side. Wow, that's really, <laughs> really pretty. Someone was saying, can I design you a full face to go live for? Um, that sounds like a fun idea. Like you pick the products. That would be a really fun idea for a future video. My eyes always look cake after I powder, add powder. Hmm. I need to know the full realm of what you're using though. It's, it's not that easy. I, I know like your skin prep, your skin type. Okay, I'm just adding a little bit more because I just feel like this side is not looking as metallic as a side. It might just be the way the lighting is hitting the side too. Okay, a little bit more and then we'll get into the lip. I have not tried the Katie Jane Hughes Hyper Shine, but I really want to. It's on my list. There's just been so many launches of makeup. I just can't keep up. I had tried that one from Huda Beauty a long time ago. Okay. Guys, it's fine. But the the uh, pencil kept breaking because it's so fine. So I didn't I didn't repurchase it basically, but it is nice. All right. Very pretty. Let's go for a little extra. And just push it right. It's hard to tell with this lighting. Oh, Nancy, you could totally do it. You just gotta practice. Ooh, got glitter on my nose. You see that sparkle? Hmm. Very pretty. It does open up my eyes. I love that. I like that you called that out. 
Um, all right, you guys, I think we're gonna do the Give lipstick in the shade, but I have one more. Oh, this is a gloss too. Maybe we'll top it with gloss. So this is the Give High, High Performance Bubble Pop Electric Gloss. Cute. That's adorable. Do we have a lip liner? No. Oh, they did some brow pencils. Shoot, I wish I saw that. Okay, next time. We'll try the brow pencils out next time. Uh, next time. Next time. <laughs> so what I should say. Let's go for a classic lip liner. It's gonna go perfect with this eye makeup. It's Deep Taupe from Anastasia Beverly Hills. You just can't go wrong with Deep Taupe. What can I say? But before I do, I like to powder my lips a touch. Just a personal preference over here. Keeps my lip liner and my lipstick in place. I didn't get the Dyson Airwrap. Wrap. I chickened out. You guys sent so many good suggestions on where to find it at a discount. But it was still really expensive. And uh, I was thinking about buying it for my mother-in-law. That's why I was asking. And then I talked to Mitch and he's like, she's not gonna use it. So it kind of like, I don't know, got me in my head and I thought, well, if I, I don't wanna waste like $400 on a gift that she's not gonna use. So I just decided to wait. I'm not sure, basically. Okay, let me stop screwing up my lip liner. <laughs> Oh, I know I heard the Sephora code doesn't work in Canada and I'm so annoyed because you know what, Sephora, I think they should just get it together and like just do it, make it universal. Like everyone should have the same discount at the same time. I know you guys have different discounts at different times than, than obviously we're um, able to use as well, but it just makes it confusing, you know? So if you guys don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about the Sephora um, gifts for all event. It's going on now till December 10th. I have a video coming out on Tuesday. If all goes well, it's coming out on Tuesday and it's gonna be a really fun one suggesting different like gift ideas all from Sephora. So stay tuned for that. Sammy, the points of Q-tips are a game changer. Okay, it's time for this beautiful lipstick from Give. This is like a matte bullet lipstick. This packaging is epic. I gotta say, I am like, this is so me, this packaging. I love it. So did I tell you guys the shade? Yeah, I did. It's the Tragic Me shade. Hmm. Oh, this smells nice. Wow. Hmm. Smells like... um. Vanilla cupcakes. Julie, I learned so much from you. Wish I could get the hang of your, oh. Oh my God, thank you, Julie, I love you too. Thank you so much for the super thanks. I appreciate you. Anytime, I'm just hoping um, my videos are helpful. So thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. Okay, it's deeper than I thought, but I really like how it's playing off the eyes. Man, this lipstick smells incredible. I'm not gonna lie. It's very interesting. Oh, Bella, I wanna meet you too. I wanna meet all you guys. Mm, feels really, really nice. Okay, I need to set my makeup. Should I do a little gloss, you guys? Maybe a little bit, huh? What do you think? How about just a teeny bit? And we will find out how longevity and how, how longevity, how long wearing all this makeup is today. Cause I'll be out and about. Wow. Oh, this smells amazing too. Whoa. It's like candy. Pretty. All right, let's go for more. It's not sticky. It's more like thick. It's very thick. 
I'm gonna try to focus this on the center of my lips to make them look a little bigger. I hope you're having a good day too. I am so far, because I get to hang out with you guys. Hmm. It's very thick, isn't it, Michelle? I wasn't expecting that. I'm like, wow. Okay, that's good to know. Hmm, pretty. I mean, these smell fantastic, I have to say. If you're not a fan of fragrance in your makeup, you will not like it. I love fragrance that smells good. It has to smell good. And this smells fantastic. I'm gonna set my makeup and um, I'm gonna avoid my eyes because I don't want to create any patchiness. So I'm gonna use the same setting spray I used to like wet my brush. It's the Rare Beauty one. So hold for two seconds, guys. I cover my eyes every once in a while when I want to make sure that um, they just don't get messed up with setting spray, which can happen uh, very easily. If you, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it can happen very quickly. I need a touch more powder though. I'm gonna go back to my N14 really quick and a little bit more of my Huda Beauty powder. And just right here is bothering me. Yeah, much better, much, much better. The mascara I used was from Give. I'll list everything, I promise you. As soon as this goes live, I will sit and knock out the description and I'll have links and a list of everything I use for this live. But right now I'm just doing like a little finishing touch and I'm gonna hop off. But you guys, these lives just go by way too fast. And just like life, life goes by way too fast. I had the best hour with you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and just catching up. It's the highlight of my week. And I love having this opportunity to talk to you guys in real time and not just like through comments and stuff, which is great, but this is just more personal. So I just love that we get to spend this time together. All right, that's the finished look. What do we think? Here's one more look at it. I mean, the eyes are really like, wow. I'll list everything I use for this live. If you came in late, I'll list everything. I'll link it. This was so much fun. I... I'm really obsessed with this lip and I'm obsessed with the glitter and I'm obsessed with the mascara. I mean, showstopper mascara. Um, that's a look. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Happy Sunday. I hope you have a really great day wherever you are, whatever time it is, whatever you're doing. I'm going to send you a big, big hug and lots of love. I hope you have a great week ahead. Stay tuned for my video on Tuesday. It's going to be a really great one and really fun. I love you guys. I appreciate you so much. Nancy, oh my gosh, you're so sweet. <laughs> Nancy, send you a big, big hug. Wow. Okay. You guys, I appreciate you so much. I'll link everything. I'll list it all um, as soon as this is uploaded. So have a great day. Hope you, um, yeah, enjoy your Sunday. Love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.